Hey, it's JD Fortune from In Excess, and you're checking out and Pop. We're here with Tim from NXS. How you doing? Good, mate. No, good. Welcome back to Toronto. Thanks. I know you were here a few years ago and you were saying, when you, you were promoting your greatest hits album, you were saying that you'd like to get this band back off the ground, but you had no idea how to do it. And now here we are with JD. You couldn't have imagined, could you have, have imagined a better way to do this? Well, not really. I mean, uh, it's, it's funny how, you know, fate works, I suppose, but um, it, the whole concept of, uh, of looking for a, a singer on, on a television show was our idea so I guess in a way it, so much for fate I, I, I guess we engineered it and you know having someone as as great at making television as Mark Burnett well that really helped as well but you know the, the most important thing is that um, we found a singer that really fits in with the band and is, is like a he's you know really is the sixth member of the band and that's that's the, the best part really now, how do you make sure as this goes along and as you see that there are so many new fans of NXS because of the show, how do you make sure this doesn't become the JD show, that it still is NXS? Well, you know, it's a funny thing. Um, you know, singers and front people of, of bands generally, uh, you know, attract the, the focal point. You know, that's, that's really their job. So there's a certain amount of, well, you know... <laughs> Of give and take with that, and you know it's 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 been the same with us with Michael, and it's just you know it, him he was the focal point too, and you know we, we don't really try and um, and not make it the JD show, really um, the singer. And that was the great thing about Michael, and the great thing about JD is that he 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 wants to be a band member. He doesn't want it to be JD Fortune and in excess. You know he wants it to be in excess. So that's the most important thing I think, and. And you know, and that, and that's coherent. Yeah, um, I have to. Uh, I I don't know. I never really thought about it. I just uh, I think that we have a lot of chemistry on stage. There's no there's no one thing we all do what we're supposed to do. Um, I'm supposed to stand in front of the mic and 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 you know, the, the band goes like this, and then here, and then we deliver the music out this way. But in order for it to get here. Everybody else behind here is responsible for that too, so it really is a it really is a band, you know. And what was the biggest surprise for you in my life? No, oh. You're in the band. What didn't you expect? Oh, um, I really didn't expect to see guys that were really humble and really down to earth, and um, and these are the first guys that if you're broken down on the side of the road they they pull over the tour bus roll up and try to help you jack up your car and put change your tire you know what i mean i was like wow that's wow all right let's go you know um well i think for a start yeah like you said we've been around a long time we've made you know 11 studio albums and and you know lit trade has literally been thrown in off the deep end straight straight on into the studio from the day we picked him to be our singer the very next morning it was up at five o'clock and off to the television studio and the recording studio and um, and we made the album the fastest time we've ever ma made an album you know in fact in fact in five weeks <clears throat> we completely recorded the record mixed it and handed it to the record company so that's pretty awesome I mean normally we would have got through three songs in that time but um but yeah, that was a good thing by the way but I think you know JD's having to learn really fast about a lot of things you know how to handle fame um, how to handle himself on the road you know like doing five shows a week um, that's pretty intense going you know and, and so all, all these things you know uh, are learning curves to him and, and in many ways they're sort of learning curves for us because we, we're seeing things through like a uh, a, a, a fresh approach, you know. He, he hasn't done. He's never made a, a video before. He's never made an album before. He hasn't done it. Has never been on a tour bus or a private jet, you know. And all these things, and you see him checking it out, and it's it's really nice because it's it's kind of innocence, and and we get to see things through younger eyes, you know. It's it's nice. You may not get to experience things again for the first time, but you get to see him do it. Well, that's exactly right. And you know, I mean, I suppose that we're, we're very fortunate in a way to. To, to have had the op opportunity, I suppose, to make a television show like we did, because when we first came to America, North America and Canada, you know, we 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 were we were sort of, I guess, uh, harboured by MTV and much music and shows like that, 
and they, they, when they were starting, you know, and so we virtually broke North America, I would say, in the first place through the power of television, and it's interesting that here we are doing it again, just in a different format. So what else is coming up for the band? Um, well, we've just today announced we're doing a full Canadian tour uh, in spring, and uh, we're doing something like 13 dates across Canada and North America as, as well, but uh, this tour just sold out so, so quick. Um, and everywhere we've been, there's, there's been a lot of people like, can get a ticket, you know, so we're like, well, okay, we'll, we'll come back. You know, we were just putting our toe in the water at, at this stage to see how the tickets would go. We didn't realise one show at Massey Hall would sell out in 58 seconds. Yeah. Now, there, there's going to be a second season of Rockstar. Do you have any idea who the band is? Um, I do, but um, it hasn't been announced, so I can't really talk about it. But. Um, but yeah, it's it's nice that they're, they're doing a second season. I, I think that the, whoever the band is, um, that they'll they'll enjoy themselves. It's uh, you know, it, I'd handle with caution by the same token. It's a it's a big wielding monster that that world of television. But um, I, I will say that uh, that we'll probably be involved from time to time on the show as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I'm not sure at this point, but um, I know Mark. Mark Bennett wants us to be involved in different levels, sort of probably guest judges and things like that. So I think the show's going to evolve from season to season. You know, we, we really started the ball rolling and the snowball is increasing in size and I think it'll, it'll take on different forms because there's not many bands that are in the situation we were so that they can use. So, you know, it'll be, it'll be interesting to watch, that's for sure. Well, good luck with it. Congratulations and uh, it's great. Thank you.